What's going on worldwide is with the rise in longevity, with improved social and economic status. Ironically, this is giving rise to prevalence of chronic disease, and the chronic diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and so forth, all have serious consequences in the eye. But with people living to be 65, 70, 80 years, almost everywhere on Earth, then the effect of the chronic diseases in the eye is becoming a huge public health problem. Socialize is a group of around 15 uh, machine learning scientists together with clinicians with expertise in the area of eye care. Presently, Socialize is working primarily in low resource settings in Nepal, Bangladesh, and West Bengal because of the enormous unmet need. There's a list of probably about 20 diseases starting from the easy ones such as cardiovascular disease, uh, you know, hypertension, uh, atherosclerosis, and then going on to some more exotic things, a lot of infectious diseases are going to have retinal markers. The retina and retinal imaging is kind of unique in medical imaging because that's the only transparent part of the body. So it is kind of an optical window into what's going on inside. It is the canary in the coal mine that all the vascular problems show up there first. Deep learning is a key technology being used by Socialize to embody the expertise of a highly trained ophthalmologist, someone with 15 years of education at least, into a low-cost mobile supercomputer device. MARVIN stands for Mobile Autonomous Retinal Evaluation. The device itself is a NVIDIA Shield tablet with our deep learning algorithms implemented on it, so that in a low-cost, compact solution, which can be deployed anywhere in the world, you don't have to leave your village or your urban neighborhood to get the kind of treatment that you need. You have, essentially, an ophthalmologist in a box. To accurately grade some of the retinal images that we have it takes 15 to 30 minutes for a world-class expert at this. So it is very difficult and very subtle science that they're looking for. For a computer to even approach that performance is extremely hard. So this is really pushing the boundary in terms of what's possible. We're actually getting close to exceeding human performance. So we're probably hitting about the same level as the best experts on their best day, except hitting that all the time. This is not telehealth. Socialize does not send the images over the non-existent internet in most countries to a remote location to be analyzed by a human. Instead, the analysis is done right there in front of the patient, taking maybe 10 or 15 seconds.